This is the overview of the construction of the master oscillator for the Scotty Spectrum Analyzer project. Uh, the biggest difference is we're going to be using a uh, 10 megahertz temperature competitive uh, crystal oscillator instead of the recommended 64 megahertz uh, oscillator. This is because the uh, second local oscillator in my design only works on the 10 megahertz uh, oscillator and uh, 10 megahertz uh, uh, temperature compensated oscillators tend to be uh, easier to find uh, in the surplus market. The uh, overall schematic is pretty much the same as the Scotty design, except of course for our oscillator here. It's a Vectron T-1115-10M0, uh, 10 megahertz temperature compensated crystal oscillator. I found these on eBay, two of them for uh, six dollars. Operates at five volts has a mechanical trim, which is going to be a little bit of a problem I'll show you later. The output is standard uh, clipped sine wave at about 2.7 volts peak to peak, but it has really good uh, phase noise, negative 125 dBc per hertz at a 100 hertz offset. Um, the oscillator is going to have its own low noise precision 5 volt uh, voltage regulator. I'm using a Seiko S-81250. 5 volt uh, precision regulator. Uh, these regulators tend to operate best when they have a constant current load. So I added a 510 ohm uh, load to give it a constant 10 milliamps of current. The oscillator itself only draws like a one and a half milliamps. And uh, so you want to boost up the current, draw just slightly. The oscillator has its uh, a series ferrite bead, and series 10 ohm resistor with the coupling, uh, decoupling capacitors. Kind of serves as a full pass network just to remove any noise or ripple will be on the uh, lines. Get the same thing on the input. This is the main 12 volt DC input to a feed through cap. Series ferrite bead. I got a series 10 ohm resistor. Kind of equalizes the uh, voltages into each of the regulators and it also kind of DQs and filters the incoming line. A stock 78L05 voltage regulator will be going off to the inverters, buffers. Uh, 7SE04 uh, inverters are going to act as buffers for the uh, individual outputs here, our clock outputs. The reason for using these is they're very fast and uh, since we can isolate the individual VCC lines um, using a series ferrite beads and a series 10 ohm resistor, you can kind of decouple the noise from each of the individual um, inverters, buffers, and that kind of uh, helps clean up the, uh, uh, or maintains uh, you know low EMI radiation, because we don't want any uh, sparse images, of course, since this is a piece of test equipment. I did add one microfarad ceramic bypass caps close to each of the uh, 7SEO4s, because uh, there tends to be a large current spike when it's uh, feeding a uh, low impedance source. By adding series 33 ohm resistors combined with the internal resistance, which is around 17 ohms, we can turn our uh, inverters into essentially 50 ohm sources. This is what the uh, my version looks like. You can see a uh, DC input to a feed through cap. There's a ferrite bead, 10 ohm, 8th watt resistor. Here's the precision 5 volt regulator. There's a regular 5 volt regulator. You had a big 150 microfarad cap right next to the uh, Vectron oscillator. Just to kind of give a nice clean power supply. And you have the individual 7 SEO4s on each of the outputs as close as possible. And the uh, decoupling lines, I have the, uh, these are the 5 volt digital logic lines for each uh, decoupled from each other. I have a SMA outputs, three outputs, um, unused outputs. You should make a little SMA. Take an old SMA connector and just put a blob of solder. We don't want to. You can put a 50 ohm load on here if you want, but that just uh, increases the current draw and the heat wasted power basically. But you, you want you don't want these uh, unused outputs to remain open because it's essentially transmitting. Just put a blob of solder on the back here. Now make a nice little shielded cap. 
for the lid. This is an old uh, cellular preamplifier case that I found at Hamfest. I bought a bunch of these for, a, for like a buck a piece. I picked them all up as I could. On the uh, case here, I added some uh, stick on ferrite plates. That's just to knock down any uh, radiated uh, EMI. That's optional, but it could be handy. Because you don't want any uh, uh, you know, leakage or anything going off into the uh, front end. Otherwise, it'll create sparse images. One of the problems is uh, with the Spectron oscillator is it requires a special trim tool. It has a little access thing on the top. Normally it's like a regular screwdriver, but of course this one has to be different. And uh, I had a hard time finding something to fit inside there. It's like a little square po tuning post or something. So I found the metal scribe and I've been slowly trying to kind of twist it to change the uh, uh, frequency. It was 13 hertz low when I first uh, got this oscillator. Um, I have it at it's 5 hertz high right now and I'll probably just uh, leave it as it is. That's the output. Uh, you can see where, uh, I don't know if you can read that, uh, 100 hertz bang on period, 48.2 nanoseconds uh, pulse width, which is pretty close to our 50% duty cycle. This is a 500 millivolts per division. You can see uh, 1 volt, 2 volt, 2.5 volts. This is because I have the scope terminated in uh, 50 ohms. And so the uh, series 50 ohms, shunt 50 ohms, essentially um, cuts our uh, uh, waveform in half. rubidium frequency standard set up. So you can see the frequency output it's about 5 hertz, 6 hertz high right now. Um, the software for the sky spectrum analyzer has the ability to enter precision frequency so the actual frequency of the reference really doesn't matter. Um, and the, inter the DDS circuit has an internal multiplier so we can uh, uh, multi we need, it requires a minimum internal clock of 21.4 uh, megahertz. So by using the, with the 10 megahertz external and the clock multiplier internal, we can generate a 40 megahertz internal clock, which is, should be fine for running our DDS circuit. And, and it'll also be fine for running our uh, PLLs for the local oscillator first and second local oscillators into.